Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore how Tejas turns 25 at a crucial moment for India's air power, as focus shifts from the fighter's journey so far to what comes next and how the LCA MK2 and the ambitious AMCA are set to shape the future. With the light combat aircraft, LCA, Tejas completing 25 years of flight operations, Focus has now shifted to the development of LCA MK2 and the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, or AMCA, DRDO Chairman Samir V. Kamat said on January 4th. Speaking at a two-day national seminar, Aeronautics 2047, organized by the Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, in Bengaluru, Kamat said the Tejas program has reached a major milestone and future efforts are now centered on next-generation fighter platforms. LCA has been a marvelous journey. Now this aircraft is inducted. Now our focus is on Mark II and AMCA. Both these programs are now on schedule, and we hope to deliver our commitments to the Air Force. AMCA will have several new technologies because it's a fifth-generation aircraft. It is a stealth aircraft so several new technologies will come in with the AMCA, Kamat said. The Aeronautics 2047 seminar is being held at the Center for Airborne Systems, Bengaluru, to mark 25 years of the Tejas program and chart the future of Indian aviation. It was inaugurated by Chief of the Air Staff Air Chief Marshal Amar Preet Singh. Addressing the audience, the Air Chief Marshal praised ADA for completing 25 years of Tejas flight operations and pointed out the importance of meeting delivery deadlines to keep the Indian Air Force operationally prepared in the face of changing security challenges. He also stated that the TEADS program had revolutionized India's defense aviation and aircraft design capabilities. It is an exceptional milestone that we achieved in 2001 and that has changed the history of our defence aviation and defence designing. We are looking forward very eagerly to the further programmes, Mark II and AMCA, and I'm sure they're going to be more successful than what Tejas was, and with better timelines, he said. Kamat underlined the importance of developing indigenous, cutting-edge technology to minimise dependence on imports, thereby realising the vision of Vixit Part a2047. The seminar has brought together experts from industry, academia, government laboratories, and the aerospace sector. Discussions are focused on next generation aircraft design, advanced manufacturing, propulsion systems, flight testing, avionics, digital twin technology, artificial intelligence in aircraft design, and certification challenges. ADA has designed and developed the LCA Tejas, which has completed more than 5,600 successful flight trials. Over 100 design work centers, including government laboratories, academic institutions, and private industries, contributed to the program. Several critical technologies, such as carbon composites, lightweight materials, fly-by-wire flight control systems, digital utility management systems and glass cockpit architecture were developed as part of the Tejas program, making it a fourth-generation fighter aircraft. The LCA MK-1A is an advanced variant designed to meet the Indian Air Force's operational requirements, while the LCA MK-2 and the naval variant are currently under development. So far, 38 Tejas aircraft, including 32 fighters, and six trainers have been inducted into two Indian Air Force squadrons. Officials said the program has enabled India to acquire the capability and capacity to design and build fighter aircraft indigenously. Several public sector units, defense PSUs, industries and MSMEs are showcasing indigenously developed airborne systems and components as part of the seminar. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.